All right, so back with the next battle, right where we left off last time. Um, so there are creatures hiding in the trees everywhere, like here is a giant ant who tries to hide, but you can see kind of his feet or something. It's kind of hard to see ant feet in, in real life, but this one has got big feet, so it's no pro problem. It's even even looks like it's got little shoes on or something. But as you can see, there are people everywhere here. Uh, nothing in there. No, okay. There are hydras trying to hide in the trees also. Uh, a hydra is not very hideable, I will have you know. I've tried to hide many hydras in my days before the pupils come into my classroom. Try to hide the hydras. It's a surprise for them, at least for the naughty kids. Anyway, uh, this is like a boss. Well, she is the boss. It says boss right there, so it should be in a giveaway. Anyway, uh, free slow three flyer probably has some sort of um, special attack, some sh charm attack or something because she's a succubus and whatnot. Anyway, that's basically it. Nothing too special here. Um, we'll just have to fight through this l l load of roots chat crankers. Just making up words here too. Sound cool. I do everything to sound cool. my curse. I try to sound cool all the time. Yeah. I've never succeeded actually. To be frank. Well, I'm not frank, I'm mad still. <laughs> I wonder how many times I've pulled that joke off. Or I, I wouldn't say pull, pull it off, I would say made that joke. I don't think you can say pull it off when it's not funny. Um, but what do I know? Anyway, let's knife the hounds. <coughs> knife the hell out of them. So they are just hounds after this. Not nearly as frightening. Alright. Cyclops. <coughs> That's good. So. Alright, um, well they can't do any mass, <coughs> any area attacks, those dogs, so I don't, I'm not really afraid of bunching my guys together, I'm only afraid of the paralyzed attacks, or, well not afraid, I would be annoyed if they happen, if they were to happen, so that Hellhound was a bit shy, but this one, this one's got balls of steel or something. They hate the dragon guy. And they don't have any dragons even. Hydras are not dragons, so he can't take them for his own. Mm. And the Hydras... Did they have like 70 attack or something? Or oh, 65, so yeah. I think they're stronger than last time at least. Not sure, but I think so. So... Yeah, 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 I think Grain, because... I think Hellhounds are not that afraid of fire, I'm not sure. But Drain is universal, works on everyone. Not sure about that, but works on Hellhounds at least. There we go. And then... Um, oh, you can actually get an attack bonus. So, rough this guy up real good. For me. 
Ooh, she has... By the way, I should have her use her spear more, shouldn't I? Because she has level 3 on it. Yeah, sure. So... Rolly? You winnie your way out of this one, or something. Oh, So, uh, it's a lot of guys coming our way. Um, yeah, Donnie, you can you can actually practice your spear spear throwing skills a bit. Get rid of the dog. Dog. Level sixteen. Approaching level twenty with everyone, which is nice. Want to get there? Um, not really gonna grind quite yet. That's for later. Something. Um. Now let's just. Hit him with your rhythm stick or something. And you're friends with Cage. Even more friends, I should say. Um, actually, Gracia, I think I want you to... Or... Uh, Cyclops. So this is going to be one of those throaty episodes where I clear my throat all the time. If I forget to ed edit it out, I apologize. And perhaps by just mentioning it, I made you think about it every time I clear my throat. So what was not a problem before is now a problem for you. Yeah. Was a weird little dance, but it worked out. And you're friends with someone with Cyclops. Yeah, sure. He is lacking in the friend department. Um. Yeah, no one else has lost life lives. In any meaningful way. Alright. That's a scared ant. And Leon, you're a bit slow to the party. Uh, as is the red dragon. But I don't care about him because he doesn't develop. He can't gain levels or anything like that. Um, so you can't reach with this, right? No, they're exactly out of reach. But you can stand there and let people defend you. Alright, I should probably not be too aggressive. I'm gonna wait a while. Try to get to this ant. Yeah. Good. Good job, Donald. Uh, Kate. Well, I guess. Yeah. I'm just saying, yeah, I don't know at all what I'm agreeing to. Yeah, good. I will assist the Peach Army. Yeah, here she comes. I like her. Oh, since the battle in the ruins on the Ras and Raspia Castle, you are yourself. General Spiriel of the Empire, correct? Yeah. Yes. I was being controlled by Priestess Basanda of the Bullsome Sect. 
when she was defeated, I came, came to my senses. I also remember my actions during that time. I thought that might have been the case, General Spiro. What saved you? Was the reluctance of Isaac to kill those being controlled? Shouldn't it be, was it the reluctance of Isaac to kill those being controlled? I think so, at least. We had just, just engaged the Republican General Proden on the plains near an effect village. You know, anal infection village. When a spell was cast on me by that, by that Buzon priestess, General Garcel and Basanda, because I was being manipulated, my beloved General Franz broke rank and, uh, and was defeated. After the battles in the un battle in the underground ruins, you disappeared. Why did you cross the Great Wall? Is the Great Wall angry? I never meant to cross it. Anyway, the Bullsome sect is a dreadful group. Controlling the ancient Titan warrior and planning to disrupt the nat natural order. They must be stopped. So that's why you, you wish to aid us. Please, keep chatting. We're just fighting giant monsters here. However, however, if you join the Peach Army, you will likely have to abandon the Empire. If I must abandon the Empire for the sake of ridding the world of such a dangerous people, my apologies to the Emperor, but it must be done. If a power powerful general such as yourself wishes to join, the Peach Army welcomes you with open arms. Okay, so you're the spokesperson now. How long have you been with us? Like... Half an hour. Enemies of the Peach Army, planning to revive the Va Vandal Kingdom. I will lend my strength and we will defeat them. Good. So, sorry, Spiriel is quite strong. Um, level 3 on that, but we'll probably give her a new weapon of sorts. And she can have other weapons too, but I don't think she, she can have, have ranged weapons. She's mostly just brawn. And um, no special defense against any magic or something or anything. But support, her support gives attack, which is cool. Uh, as does Prodens, doesn't he? Yep. Yeah, he does. So which makes Proton very good too. Um, Alright, let's... Oh, we only have Blaze Level 1, that's right. I should probably go for this Sam then. Fortify damage. Good job, Proden. The thing is, in this scenario, you want all the characters in your team all the time because all of them are super cool. So that's it's like a rich man's problem. Um. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Alright, don't have a job this turn in Gracia, I'm afraid. Neither do you, Princess Isabella. Here we go. Uh, the ant is dead, so let's go for the Hydra. The Hydra will... Yeah, you're much bigger than the Hydra, aren't you? The Hydra will likely acid breath someone, but yeah, that's a nasty attack. Oh god, the dragon is super good and super cool. Yeah, sure, paralyze me. I am Rolly. Rolly to the rescue. No paralysis, alright. Rolly to the rescue is another game, which I've played very little, so I don't know it very well. I can't, couldn't tell you if it's good or not. And let's attack the Hellhound. 
Probably means some, something super cool. But alas, I don't speak Japanese. That Hydro went, was afraid. Alright. Could see that. Mm. Let's spark one them. Yeah, you sound really happy when you hold people. Kind of cute. Oh, that's what, that was a double kill. Perhaps she didn't need that. Perhaps we should have left some experience for, for another pe person, but anyway, here we are now. Um, there's the succubus. Let's approach with caution now. Um, antidote on you. Winning. Mm -hmm. It's only the Hydra over there now, so yeah, let's do like this. Let's have Donahort go for him, for the Hydra. You could just straight up kill the boss, couldn't you? But not gonna do that now. Uh, let's put you there. And I have some people go for that ant over there. Ooh, another one appears and... Ooh, slash bats. So... I guess we're fighting slash bats too. Huh? <sighs> so I guess as... An emergency button we could just destroy the succubus. Um <clears throat> Afterburner. Also a Mega Drive game, I think. Mm. You have taken a slight chip. Something. Uh, let's heal the dragon. Just because I can. Because he's closer to more enemies. So, now you're not anymore, of course. Oh, well. <laughs> you really like to show off, don't you? 50 damage. Yeah. Close to one-shotting those guys. And the giant hand comes and probably poisons me. Nope. I'm lucky. Insanely lucky. Um, could go down to the um, Hydra. Not all the way down though. Another slash bat. So, this is a grinding station, isn't it? <clears throat> Sorry, I'm trying to clear my throat out of... Out of... Away from the mic. That's how you say it. Mm. That's 11. So I guess... Technically, we should be able to kill it. Yeah. Yep, yep. Soul Blast. Woo. It's level 3, I think, on the thing. Yes. And now her magic is better and everything is well in the world. Let's attack an ant. <laughs> Probably how she, she sounds like. Well, actually, you can hear them, so it's not really what she sounds like, but it's what I want her to sound like. Damn it. 
that. Oh, that's a weak attack. Or well, perhaps it's a normal attack. And uh, yeah, we're okay. Yeah, these will spawn infinitely. So let's just. Hmm. Yeah, I think doing this is good. There we go. I'm gonna touch. So, can you guess what you do when you have a sore throat, or when when your throat is stuffy and stuff? Well. I think you probably can guess. Cheers. You whisk it up. Hmm. Well, he doesn't need that many experience points. Really. Ooh, friends with the Broly. Which is cool. Uh, no, don't need an antidote herb. That I know of. Um. Ooh, I should have knifed it. Damn it! Instead, it's got dimensioned into a tree and uh, utterly destroyed, which is cool. Yes. Um, Grazia, yeah, you can slash the slash bat. Just because you can. You don't do a lot of damage, but at least you might be able to build up some friendships or something. Um, Prodom. What level do you have on your sword, by the way? Two, yeah. So keep fighting with your sword. And we'll use your spear later on. Ooh. One. Hit point set. Blaze level 2. Great. And um Well Spiral, you go there. Bar. Um So Gonna heal the Dragon Man. I think Pete will be alright for a while longer. The Dragon Man is Kind of weaker in defense, so I'm gonna keep hitting slash bats a, a little bit more as long as I get get something for them. I'm not sure what my goal is with it, but perhaps. Perhaps getting to level 16 or something with people, at least. I don't know. Perhaps just not any goal, just as long as I feel like it. Red Dragon, you're a good tank, aren't you? So, Bridget. I think actually I'm gonna leave that one to Gracia, because... Gracia really needs to get some experience points. Um, honesty? We can get to these guys. It would be good. Without losing too much. I think it should be doable. Because these are not respawning enemies. I will take one hit of the ground slash bat, but that will have to be alright. Gracia can ta take it, he's a big boy. He's not a big boy, boy actually, but you say that about people even though you don't mean it. So, actually this is a good spot for... Um, Four. Um, let's see. Use. 
there. Eat thunder. Weaklings. Air dance. Woo. So he's at level three. Mm. All right, all right. Um, gonna use Kate to get to this ant. Getting rid of that. Priority. No more poison. Gracia, attack this guy. With a double bomb, nonetheless. Good. And a level for you. That's good. Ooh. There's the Inferno spell. I'm happy. So now, Gracia has a spell, an attack spell, which she can actually use. It costs a lot of magic, magic but at least it doesn't drain all the magic like this one does. Um, searing lava and raining fire. Doesn't that sound amazing to you? If it doesn't, I don't know what does. Um, Hound or Hydra. I'm gonna go for the Hound because it's more likely that I kill the Hound than the Hydra. Exactly. Yeah. Um, oh, you saw a bit of my mouse there. Huh. Shouldn't say that. That means something in Swedish. Um, over there. Yeah, and you. Heal. I know I'm grouping myself together for a freeze attack, but I'm not that afraid of that because there won't be any follow-up attack, follow attacks, and the freeze itself isn't strong enough to kill anyone. Um, thousand hiding in the trees. Um, you can move far, can't you? Anyway, gonna hatch at the Hydra. Now I'm going for it a bit more here. Friends with Don Hawch. Yeah, he also needs friends. Everyone just are polite. Alright, Cyclops is in bad shape. Red Dragon, do something. Fire breath. Yeah. Rawr. That's good actually, leaving the Hydra for someone else else to pick off. Mainly I want wanted to block block, block the Hydra. Um or the, the other guy from attacking Cyclops skin. Two, two, two. Forty-three. Oh, that's a nasty spell. Now that you have level 3 on your weapon, yeah. Mm -hmm. 3 is level 3. Just on the red dragon. I will take it. Um, don't need you to gain any levels, so just wait. Let's see. Yeah, I want Rolly to do stuff. Come on, Rolly. <laughs> Who's my favorite horse? <laughs> Who's my favorite horse, you boy? Yeah, Rolly is. He needs a bit of petting. Alright, so flashing time again. Kate, no. You're at level 17. And you're at level 17. People, people below that part. Let's yeah, Spiril. Let's introduce you to everyone. Yeah, he's always angry. Yeah, you demolished that that bat. Didn't bat an eyelid. <laughs> That's us. So this means that Gracia can actually gain some 
experience because you can kill stuff. Granted, not that many times with 20 MP being the cost of that spell, but um, Cyclops, right? Heal level 3 on Cyclops. Okay, so Proden, what do you think about using your spear a bit? Yay! Yeah, I thought you'd like it. Oops, but you're not very good at it, are, are you? Oh well, let's go with the dragon. Trustworthy dragon. Yeah, just bitch slap the hell out of that succubus. Um. I didn't really don't want to go for the Dragon Man, really. He's kind of anemic, but... But he can gain, a, gain us dragons for a while longer, so... I guess I'm gonna keep him a bit. And he gains stuff. Yes, I am. He gains some friendships or whatever. Anyway... A river. What a strange river! The water is coming out of the village! Well, it's next to a mountain, so it could well, well be flowing through, through the village and... Wait, well, I don't know. The Holy River, also known as the River of a Thousand Miles, Davis is. It said the river doesn't accept evil beings. Well, let's see who's, who among us is evil then. Would be a shame if... If it turned out Grasso can't take a bath in that that one. Maybe now we'll finally learn what King Benetrim has been talking about. I hope so. I don't want to be suspicious of King Benetrim, but he so seems, sure seems to know a lot about this. King Benetrim, in this village, will learn more about my powers. Yeah, you're all, all always thinking about yourself, are you? Yes, we'll see. Let's go inside, Pete, so everyone can learn what this is all about. It's all about you. Is that what you're saying? Ooh, here we go. This cozy music. Which you hear a bit too much about in... Shining Force 1 when... Or Scenario 1, sorry. When you do the hero's test. We should investigate the cave, Pete. Probably. The answer probably lies at the, the origin of the whole river. Yeah. 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 Right. Um. So. Nothing at the totems. Are you sure? Yeah, you are. Alright, um, so we're gonna search outside first. By the way, I'm not gonna make this into an hour long episode. No need to. Dark Ruins map, thank you. Um, and then there, yeah. This guy there. This ter totem? No. And this. No, nothing, just a fancy statue, another chest, holy on, um, give this one to Isabella, just a druid on, uh, not really, let's, let's see what happens, Whip. Oh, it regenerates 4 MP, so... Or 4 HP, sorry. That is better to have on you. Although the Druidank gives Tornado. So I will keep the Druidank. Ankh. Druid Ankh. I think, yeah, Tornado. tornado. So yeah. 
and equip it when I need to tornado something. Um, nothing more there. And there's, I think that's the headquarters. Uh, I'm gonna do that cutscene next time, I think. Large mithril, thank you. I'm gonna make some mithril weapons sometimes here, sometime here also. You seem thoughtful, Grandpa. The Holy River has turned a color I've never seen before. Its water can cleanse your mind and soul. Well, it looks water color to me. Well, perhaps not really. It's a bit too Turkish or something. Hmm. Anyway, let's take a peek inside some of the buildings. See what we can get out of that. Hmm. Probably some stupid place to search, like some bar table or something. Um, otherwise, no. Oh, there we go. 2000, right. And what about you? You! Aren't you the leg legendary exp expedition? Yeah. Fuck yes, we are. Do you have time to tell us what life is south of the Great Wall? Yeah, sure. Let's have a beer and sit down. How are the taverns in the south? I bet they're different from ours, aren't they? Yeah, sure. Taverns are also different. I'd like to see the southern taverns and incorporate their look into my shop's design. Yeah, well... <laughs> lie to people to make them happy, right? Looks like every other freaking tavern we've been, been through, been to in this entire game. Right, so more stuff. I'm not gonna be that sorry about it. Might be more thorough next time. I will check perhaps off screen to see if I missed stuff and stuff. I did miss stuff last time. Uh, like uh, in the last battle. Go, and wine. Yeah, I didn't want to talk to you. 1400 gold coins, good. So there's a lot, lot of stuff to be gained here. Hope no one need, needed that money, because now it's mine. Everybody wants to wear fur in the north, but it's expensive and we can't afford it. The further remotest, the further remotest hunters take is being sold in the south. Right. Uh, can you order from here? No, you can't. Anyway. Oh, by the way, shouldn't there be a second floor? Did I miss some staircase or something? The building looks tall enough. No? Alright. Alright, just a high ceiling, I guess. Well, we all have a high ceiling here. People. God, I hate people. Why do I have to meet people in every every village I run into? Uh, protecting Carol, and I take their money. Yeah, it's kind of strange, weird. This thing that you can just barge into people people's home and steal their lifetime savings and stuff. It doesn't feel like you're the good guys, then. but I guess everyone's happy funding the legendary, legendary expedition, aren't they? Alright, and um, you do have a lot of stuff hidden everywhere, don't you? Like this box, for instance. No, nothing. Alright, move it. And now we have this house. After this, it's only the weapon shop and stuff. And I can do that next time. But I'm gonna finish the searching of stuffs. Of the obvious places, at least. 
There's a hairy story on a wig. Yeah, I can guess who, who that is for. I think you should use it, actually. You, or, well, I, there's nothing wrong with baldness, really, but if you have, have one, why aren't you wearing it? And anyway. So, probably something you got off, off of his daughter as a Christmas gift, and... Uh, he said, he goes like, yay, thank you, that's what I always wanted, and uh, and it's not. Uh, so this is the smith. Smithy. Ooh, that's kind of cool. So we're getting a lot of arts. So if I give... No. All right. So it's I have to go into the headquarters to fix that. Oh well, I can do that by my lonesome, and I can also sell some stuff. I'm gonna continue my investigations here next time. So thank you very much for watching this normal-sized episode, and uh, I hope to see you in a bit. So have a nice time. Ciao.